Hi, hello. I thought we could take a little bit of a break from the inspiration vlog um, so I can talk to you guys about my tattoo, first of all. So, new tatty. Let's see. I'll have a clip for you guys because this is, this is quite difficult to show you right now. But uh, I took my Saniderm off today and he's healing quite nicely. Kelly let me know that when you get tattoos that are mostly shaded rather than a lot of black work, they tend to heal faster, which is interesting. I don't know if I noticed that with my moth, but anyway, I'm wearing my baby earrings today to match my tattoo, but I would say pain level is like similar to the elbow. I don't have a tattoo directly on my elbow, but last inspiration vlog, I got this bad boy by Petite Thief. And um, when she would go over like the bone, it's still a pretty bony area, even though I didn't get it directly on my elbow. I would say the pain level was similar to that. So I would say it's about a four to five. For reference, all of my arm tattoos, I would say are a two or three. And my tiger that I have on my ankle on the side of my leg is like a six. That's definitely my most painful tattoo. Not horrible, but worse than, you know, my easy arm tattoos. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Kelly's super talented. Um, I think I might have mentioned this before, but she also did my freckles. My freckles on my face are tattooed and she did them. She's a amazing tattoo artist and also cosmetic tattoo artist so highly recommend if you live in Houston but yeah and I thought I could also talk about my mentorship because I think last time I had just started my mentorship or towards the beginning of my mentorship with Rizo Chan and I am now at a point we are now at a point where my mentorship has naturally ended it's ended because I feel like I have been able to evolve faster as an artist thanks to her. All of my artistic issues are not like solved, but I know much better how to manage them now. I know what is normal now. For example, I was struggling with having really recurrent art blocks, a lot of burnout, a lot of effort needed to start or finish a piece. And she's taught me a lot of things that can help me work through that because all of those struggles are super normal for artists. I've implemented a lot of new things like sketchbooking. I am like fully committed to sketchbooking now. I do it almost every day and I honestly really can't make a piece without it anymore. I find that making something without sketching first 
is extremely mentally exhausting and it's too much work on my end for no reason. You know, like you can just sketchbook to warm up or get ideas. I also feel like my art feels a lot more personal. I feel a lot more original. I feel a lot more authentic to myself because that's something that I've struggled with since my art became more public, I guess. You know, I started creating digital art because I felt like it and because I was bored and I was 19 and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So that was just kind of another hobby that I wanted to pick up. And when it started becoming public, I started feeling a lot of pressure to upkeep the same style. And this is where my mic suddenly did not want to work anymore. So I'm just going to recap what I was talking about. But as I was saying, I felt like I had to upkeep the same style or artistic voice from when I started. And... You know, obviously that was not the case. I did not keep the same quote unquote style. I have definitely changed and evolved a lot. I've experimented a lot as one naturally does, you know, when you grow up and experience new things in life. And to wrap that into my mentorship, I feel like I am finally on a path where I am more authentic to myself and I am more committed to being original with my artistic voice rather than making things that I think people will like or the things that people are expecting from me. So yeah, I just feel a lot more at peace with how things are going in my creativity brain. To what? The files. I don't know why. I think it's a scratching noise. He probably thinks like you're doing the same thing you're he he does. So like I was telling you guys, I have been super into graphite lately um, and then I decided to try to do this portrait of my partner. It didn't turn out amazing, but it's not that bad for my first graphite portrait in like a very long time. So I did this and then I took a look at the picture again. And as I, I was comparing the picture to my graphite drawing, I kind of put this transfer paper on top. And then I just went over and corrected some areas that were actually really good and actually made this look more like him rather than the other one because the other one was a little bit off but now this actually looks like him so yeah I think this is like a really cool experiment that I'm going to start doing a lot more in my sketchbook and I quickly wanted to show you guys the little Austin spread that I did um, earlier this vlog you guys saw the clips of me hiking and swimming and I sketched some of the pictures that I took I really like this little cacti setup um, I did me sitting on a rock the butterfly I found, my partner, some shells, but yeah, I thought this was really cute.
So before closing out today's video, I wanted to talk about the sponsor, which is Squarespace. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website. And I personally use Squarespace to run my website and my online art business. So Squarespace has some tools that help me out with that and they can help you out too. Um, I, they have really flexible website templates. I've been able to customize my website to hold my online store and my portfolio and a contact me page and such. I'm also able to have a lot of options on what I can do with my online store. I can sell services, digital goods, physical goods, etc. And if you sell in person at our markets like I do, you can connect a square reader to your Squarespace app on your phone and you can keep track of all your point of sale data on there so you can keep it in sync with your online store as well. So if you're interested in a free trial, you can go to squarespace.com and you can use my code for 10% off your first purchase.